I have a mild, mild obsession with China. I don't, as in dishware. I don't have a lot of my own. Yes, I have dishware in general, but I don't have China pieces. Um, whenever I was growing up, my mother always had this display case of all of the things that she had collected personally and the things that she had inherited from her, from my grandmother and her grandmother and her grandmother and so on. Some of the pieces um, that she had obtained predate the Great Depression and they were just beautiful and I loved them so much. And I, I've just always had a passion for China wear. On that note, <laughs> I happened to go to Goodwill today and I wasn't planning on really getting anything. I, to be honest, I wasn't gonna get anything at all. I need to save my money and pay off my student loans, but I have a spending problem. <sighs> anyway, I found some things. Some of it is not, is not that fancy or nice. It just looks cute, so I got it. Some of it are antiques that they were selling for two to three dollars. I'm not gonna take the tape off of this one for right now, but you can see that it is a stacking little teapot and teacup. And by little, I guess it's not exactly little, it's kind of large for a teacup, but very small for a teapot. Handle is much larger on the teapot as well, but it was just really cute. I like the cute little design. As you can see, they sold this sucker for $6. When you look on the back, it says it's made in Thailand. It's microwave and dishwasher safe, so it's certainly a more modern piece. Color coordinates for coffee and tea by Hughes and Hughes and Brews. So again, nothing super fancy, just really cute. A mild obsession with teapots as well. And these are things I do not have, but I really like. This is not a pretty little thing. Like it is pretty, but the lines are very obvious in the ceramic. It is kind of more on the cheapy side. And they sold it for $5.99, so this one was actually more expensive? No, they're the same price. But I liked its little wicker woven design and its cute little flowers. The paint is splotchy, not seamly, and it doesn't fit properly onto each other. But that was not the point. It's just really cute. I don't see any name brand or designer on here. I don't see a year. I do, actually, it might be more than I thought. There is a JB, you cannot see that at all. There we go, there is a JB kind of stamped in. And even though I've said all of this, I still don't think it would be that expensive for a designer, but maybe. I doubt it though. Moving on to things a bit more valuable. I found these two plates. Now I saw a couple of other items that have certainly similar looks and feels. 
These were each sold. I have two of them. These were each sold for $4. When you look at them, you will see that they are unique in size and color of the design. Even the printings in the middle or paintings in the middle, whatever that might be, are not the same. They're hidden beneath stickers, but they're very clearly not the same. When you flip them over, on one you have Victoria, Czechoslovakia. So, imported for starters. The other one, I wanna peel this sticker off. The other one also says Victoria, Czechoslovakia. Looking at the two logos, no, it's the same size, okay. But one, you can kind of see a number print on here. This would say 354. So I think this might actually have more value than I expected. Not that I intend to sell these, but I like having valuable chinaware. <laughs> I love them. But part of why I was so attracted to it, A, the difference of feeling modern china, modern ceramics versus older fashion is that you can feel like it's thinner in how it has been made. It is, it has a depth in its cold, like in how cold it is. Um, it just feels more authentic. It sounds more authentic. And the other two items that I have certainly sound way more authentic. The gold paint that you can see on here, on these two is a little more faded. It's not necessarily chipped, but the paint itself is certainly chipped. So this is not something that would be as valuable. The paint, is, paint job is not that clear. I still love it and it's still definitely real China. From Czechoslovakia. Now these babies were probably the hidden little diamonds in a Goodwill. I wanna start with this one. This one has a more modern design to it um, and they're for good reason. It came from the mod era. <laughs> Um, this is a Kaysen's Fine China from Japan. It has a little tiny letter K right up in here. You can see it says Golden Rhapsody. It is copyright. So, more than likely mass produced. Uh, it says Kaysen's Import Corporation. Or by Kaysen's Import Corporation. What you can also see, or not, is that the year is stamped 1961. So again, from the mod era, thus the design uh, for everything being a lot more clean, a lot more linear, a little abstract, a little asymmetrical. But it is also currently what? Let's see, 61, so 71, 81, 91, 2001, 11, and 21's not that far away, so it's almost 60 years old. This pretty little piece. This one, I freaked out. She bumped it against one of the other, like, one of the pots, or the teapots. And I was like, oh my gosh. But you cannot quite, you probably cannot tell, but this piece is thin. I'm barely touching it. 
and it makes that sound of it just makes that sound how you do describe it is quality it makes the sound of high quality and super fragile and tiny um, the gold paint on here is impeccable and this is old this it has indentations on it but there's not a speck missing it looks a little used a little worn but the gold is still there still kicking the gold lining on the inside is only just barely barely missing in this tiny little top corner barely the handle itself is impeccable i do admit that there's some damage and wear here as from more than likely being rested against the finger when used. And then there's gold trim all around the bottom edge and in here, and of course, again, in the inner portion of the cup. A very typical floral design, and that red is still ringing so true. Why I'm so impressed. It's not focusing. Ugh. Well, it says diamond made in occupied China, Japan, made in occupied Japan. What that tells me is more than likely this is from World War One or prior. I could be wrong. It's probably going to be more like World War Two. I am not an expert in any of this. But this is war time dishware. Um, I'll have to research the brands um, for the ones that I can. And again, I don't intend to sell them. I intend to collect them. All of this, I, I only spent $13 and change on at a Goodwill in New York. And then to find something like this is crazy. You probably don't care. Maybe you think it's stupid. I don't. <laughs> that's nice because I get to have my first china that I've bought and have a connection with my mom my grandmother and so on and so forth on to my great grandmother and beyond so it's precious to me anyway that's that hope you enjoyed it see you next time bye